Welcome back. Today we will show you how to upload an image file in main MongoDB Express.js Angular 10 Node.js stack app using Multor. We will use the previous tutorial on REST API image upload with the latest versions and dependencies for this tutorial. This tutorial divided into several steps. Step number one, create a new Node Express.js app. Step number two, install the required modules and dependencies. Step number three, add Mongoose models or schemas. Step number four, add Express.js REST API root for image upload. Step number five, create a new Angular 10 app. Step number six, at Angular 10 routing and navigation. Step number seven, at Angular 10 service. Step number eight, create Angular material upload image form. Step number nine, run and test a complete main stack Angular 10 app. The following tools, frameworks, modules, and libraries are required for this tutorial. Node.js. MongoDB, Angular 10, Angular CAI, Express.js, Mongoose.js, Multor.js, Angular Material Input File, Terminal or Command Line, IDE or Text Editor, we are using VS Code. Before we move to the main steps of this tutorial, make sure that you have installed Node.js and MongoDB on your machine. You can check the Node.js version after installing it from the terminal or Node command line. Let's get started to the main steps. Step number one, create a new Node Express.js app. Express is a minimal and flexible Node.js web application framework that provides a robust set of features for web and mobile applications. To create the Express.js app, we will be using the Express Generator. Type this command to install it. Next. Create an Express.js app by typing this command. Go to the newly created main uploader folder, then install all npm modules. Open this Express.js project with your IDE or text editor to use Visual Studio Code, type this command. Now we have this Express.js app structure for the Mint Uploader app. To check and sanitize the Express.js app, run this app for the first time. Then you will see this page when open the browser and go to localhost 3000. To make this Express.js server accessible from the different ports or domain, enable the course by adding this module. Next, add this import to app.js after other require. Then add this line to app.js before other app use. Step number two, install the required modules and dependencies. We will use Bungus as the ODM for MongoDB. For the upload file to the node server, we will use Multor.js. To install those required modules, type this command. Back to the app.js, then call the Mongoose module.
create a connection to the MongoDB server using these lines of codes. Now, if you rerun again Express.js server after running MongoDB server or daemons, you will see this information in the console. That means the connection to the MongoDB is successful. There's no additional configurations for Molter.js for this tutorial. Step number 3. Add Mongoose models or schemas. The uploaded image will not save to the MongoDB collection, but it will save to the server directory that is accessible from the Angular 10 client. So, there's only an image URL that will be saved in the MongoDB collections as a string field. We need to create a new Mongoose models or schemas for it. First, create a new folder in the root of project folder that holds the mongoose models or schemas files then add this model file open and edit models gallery js then add these lines of mongoose schema Step number 4. Add Express.js REST API root for image upload. We will implement this image upload in a form. So we will create a root for REST API that submits or posts a form request. For that, create a new JavaScript file for the router inside the routes folder. Open and edit that file. Then declare all required modules. Declare the functions that shapes the uploaded file to the server storage. We will put the file to the public images folder. Add a root to post data including file. The file will save to the server directly and the request body saves to the database if the file exists in the request. Additionally, add the get router to get a single gallery data by ID. Export this rotor as module. Next, back to app.js, then add this root that previously created. Add URL mapping for this root after another URL mappings. Step number 5. Create a new Angular 10 app. We will use Angular 10 CLI to install the Angular 10 app. Just type this command to install or update the Angular 10 CLI. Still in this projects folder, create a new Angular 10 app by running this command. If you get the questions like below, choose yes, as CSS, or whatever you like to choose.
Next, go to the newly created Angular 10 projects folder. Tap these commands to run the Angular 10 app for the first time. Using the dash dash open parameter will automatically open this Angular 10 app in the default browser. Now the Angular initial app look like this. Step number 6. Add Angular 10 routing and navigation. We will use only two pages in our Angular 10 front end, an image upload form, and a details page that shows up after successful image upload. Type these commands to generate it. We don't need to add or register those components to the app module TS because it's already added automatically. Next, open and edit is RC app, app routing module TS, then add this imports. Add this array to the existing router constants that contains routes for above added components. Open and edit is RC app, app component HTML. Then replace all HTML codes with this. Open and edit is RC app, app component HTSS. Then add these lines of HTSS codes. Step number 7. Add Angular 10 surface. The uploading to the Node X page server handled in the Angular 10 surface. The response from the Node X page emitted by Observable that can subscribe and read from the components before creating a surface for REST API access first, we have to install or register HTTP clients module. Open and edit is RC app app module TS. Then add these imports of forms module, reactive forms module, and HTTP clients module. Add them to ng module imports after browser module. We will use the type specifier to get a typed result object. For that, create a new TypeScript file with RC app gallery TS. Then add these lines of TypeScript code. Next, generate an Angular 10 surface by typing this command. Next, open and edit is RC app API service TS. Then add these imports. Add these constants before the inject table. Inject the HTTP clients module to the constructor. Add the error handler functions that returns as an observable. Add the functions for all posts and get gallery data with image upload. You can find more examples on Angular Observable and RxJS on our another tutorial. Step number 8. Create Angular Material Upload Image Form. We will use Angular Material for uploads image form and gallery details page. For that, Save these commands to add Angular material using Angular schematics. If there's a question like below, just use the default and yes answer. For the inputs file components, we will use ngx material file input as an additional Angular material input component. For that, type this command to edit.
We will register all required Angular material components or modules and NGX material in file input to its RC app app module TS. On this file are these imports of the required Angular material components. Register the above modules to ng modules imports. Next, we will implement the Angular uploads file or image to the Angular components. Open and edit is RC app gallery gallery component TS. Then add these imports. Add a class that implements the error state mature module before the mines class or components. Declare all required variables to build upload image form and declare the error state mature class. Inject above imports to the constructor. Initialize the Angular form group inside ngOnInit function. Add the functions to submit the form and call the pose functions of the API service. Next, open and edit its RC app, gallery, gallery components, HTML, then replace all HTML tags with this HTML tags of image upload form implementation. Next, open and edit its RC app, gallery, gallery components, as CSS, then add these lines of CSS codes. Additionally, we will add a direct page after the successful image upload that shows the gallery details of the uploaded image. Open and edit is RC app gallery details, gallery details, component CS. Then add these imports. Declare all required variables to show gallery details. Inject the previously imported modules to the constructor. Add the functions to load gallery details from the API service. Call that functions from the ngOnInit function. Next, open and edit is RC app gallery details gallery details component HTML, then replace all HTML tags with this. Finally, Add style to its RC app gallery details gallery details component as CSS to just a few of this component. Step number nine: Run and test a complete main stack Angular 10 app. To run the complete main stack with Angular 10 application, first run the MongoDB daemon or server in another terminal tab. In the children. Terminal tab, run the nodes Express.js server. Open the new terminal tab, then run the Angular 10 application on the client folder. And here's it is the complete main stack Angular 10 image upload application look like. That is the main stack Angular 10 tutorial upload image file. You can get the full article and working source code link in the descriptions below. If you think this tutorial is useful. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe to this channel. Thank you.